What is going on my friends? My name is Rexonator and welcome to another fantastic Grand Theft Auto 5 video. In today's video, we are going to be seeing just how big of an explosion we can make. Let's jump into it. So now before we jump into this, I feel like I should lay a few ground rules. Number one, I'm not going to be using any mods. I want to see how big of an explosion we can theoretically make. The only mods I'll actually be using is spawning in things with an object editor. Now, obviously, some of what we use in this video, it'd be kind of hard to gather large numbers of these items as we're going to be doing, but theoretically, you could technically do it. So now, before we actually start doing this, I want to I wanna run a few tests first. So test number one is how many sticky bombs can we spawn in? One, two, So 20 is the max. That is the max number of sticky bombs you can spawn in before they start to despawn. And as you can see, it's very, very aggressive when you set them all off. So the next thing I want to test out is whether or not different vehicles make different explosion sizes. Because if bigger vehicles do, then we can just spawn in a good size of bigger vehicles instead of a million little vehicles and save ourselves a bunch of time. It will determine how big these explosions are by how many pedestrians they've killed. As you can see, I've got 20 soldiers lined up. They're my little test subjects. So we're going to blow up the car and we're going to see how many in the line die. And obviously the further out into the line they go, the bigger the explosion is. All right, let's get this first test on the road. No pun intended. All right, here we go. Explosion test number one. Burn, baby, burn. All right, maybe next time I need to make a shorter. Okay, okay, I didn't expect them all to run away like that. What are they doing? All right, that kind of puts a damper in our plans. I, I didn't think they'd all run away. Okay, well, we got to redo that test. Okay, so I went ahead and made it so they couldn't move, none of the soldiers, so this time they won't be diving out of the way. All right, normal, normal car test. Here we go. Damn, I got four of them. That was pretty unexpected. I didn't think I'd kill that many. Four people. Okay, them catching on fire like that, we're not going to count. So good. Okay, now they're all just going to catch on fire in a line. One by one. All right, I'm just going to put them all out of their misery really quickly. There we go. Okay, so for our next test, we're going to be testing out a big old tanker. Okay, that was a big explosion. I killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine guys. Nine guys. So far, nines are maxed with the explosive tanker. But let's do something even bigger. Okay, so nine is the number to beat. Nine soldiers. So next I want to test out the big old the big old tugboat. I want to see if that makes a nice big explosion. Alright, here we go. Will this thing even blow up? I don't even know if it, okay, it blew up. One guy? Really? One guy? It killed one guy, are you kidding me? Okay, let's give the Molimp a try. A big old helium filled flying bomb, basically. That was a big explosion, but it didn't kill anyone. No one died, but I gotta say, visually, that might have been the biggest explosion that we've seen. You might have to keep that in mind. What about these big old things? The big old, the big old dump truck. Oh, that killed a nice amount. So it seems like we have two contestants for this explosive test. Um, the big, the big, the big orange tanker thing. It, it does the most damage in terms of explosions, but in terms of being visually big and exciting, the blimp is definitely the biggest. So we're actually going to do a test with both. We're going to fill up this this whole quarry. Well, I'm going to try and fill up the whole quarry. We'll see the, we'll see if my game crashes or not. After it's all filled up, we're going to drop a bunch of sticky bombs evenly placed all throughout. And then we're going to light it and we'll see if my computer blows up or not. I might, I might explode in real life. You don't know, but we're going to find out. And thus began my journey of building my first explosive monstrosity. Okay, so I want to start off small and then build our way up to bigger and bigger numbers just to see what my computer can handle because I don't want to try a bunch, have my computer crash, and then slowly have to take them away and see what works and what doesn't. So we're going to start off with 50 tankers and we'll see what happens. Here we go. 
Huh, that was that was kinda underwhelming. We might Yeah, we'll probably have to use sticky bombs instead. Okay, alright. Hmm. Okay. Ay ay ay. They're just blowing up left and right, aren't they? Yeah, we're gonna use sticky bombs for that. Exploding tanker test number two. This time we are 96 tankers. Exploding in three, two, one. Here we go. Huh. Now that was pretty intense, but as you can see, it's still missing a lot of them. Like all these ones on the bottom, it's just not hitting them. Okay, so the tankers are not exploding evenly for whatever reason. I don't know why. I even tried throwing sticky bombs over the place. So what I'm going to try and do this time is put like multiple, we'll do multiple rows, but I'll put like five sticky bombs for each row evenly spread out just so that way they all blow up and hopefully, hopefully that sets all the rows off. Okay, so we got the first row of explosive tankers. Let's put down uh, five sticky bombs. One, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Five. All right, let's spawn in the next row. Okay, I'm also gonna put the takers closer together on top of each other. That way, the ones in the in the rows above and below have a better chance of blowing up because of the rows that they're touching. I th I feel like doing this was just putting them too far apart and that's why they weren't blowing up. So I'm, I'm literally gonna put them on top of each other, touching each other. All right, let's go put the next uh, layer of sticky bombs. One, two, three, four, and we'll go five. Oh God, I didn't even spawn them all in, what the heck? Is there a limit to how many you can spawn in or something? Is 144 the max? 144 might be the max amount of tankers you can spawn in. It's looking like 144 is the max. So let's let's blow up 144 of them. Let's put down our last layer of explosive or C4s and let's see what happens. Because it, it won't let me spawn in anymore. Hmm. Maybe that's the max amount of vehicles you can have is 144. One, two, three, four. I'm put down ten this time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Just so where we hit that limit of, of 20 sticky bombs. All right, let's blow up this bad boy. This is 144 tankers exploding in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh my lord. That was kind of underwhelming though. Hmm. Oh, there goes, okay, there goes a few more. They done? They, nope. They, they done? Okay, well that's the max amount of takers we can do. Let's do blimps now, because blimps are much bigger explosions, and they're way bigger than these things are, so 144 blimps should be pretty insane. Okay, now it's time to fill up this hole with blimps. Let's see just how many blimps we can cram in here. We got a big old hole to fill, and those blimps are pretty big. Okay, so I have all the blimps set up. I have 106 blimps spawned in. The game won't let me spawn anymore. If I spawn anymore, it, it just seems like it starts to delete them at random. Also, some of these turned red and I, I can't, for whatever reason, make them back to the, the green color. So those ones are gonna stay red. So I, I ignore the fact that they're red. But now that we had this all set up, now we need to actually put down our sticky bombs. Do I have sticky bombs? Yes. We need all the explosives set up. So one, Okay, now we have all the blimps set up. Okay, so I just went through and manually edited all the blimps so they're no longer invincible. Um, I'm about to unpause time. I really hope everything doesn't explode. Otherwise, I'm gonna be big sad. First, before I do that, I'm actually gonna save it. All right, here we go. Time to unpause time. Hopefully they, hopefully they don't all explode, but if they do, we'll be watching it, just in case. All right, nothing blew up, good. All right, let's get us out of this helicopter because I don't want to do this from the helicopter. Okay, let's build ourselves a little platform. 
Okay, so we got this platform right in the center of all the blimps, as you can see. We might actually need to back it up, so that way we can see everything. Yeah, I'm gonna back this up. This is absolutely insane. Alright, we should be far enough away now. Alright, the largest Grand Theft Auto 5 explosion launching in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. And C4. Alrighty then, the C4 didn't go off. It's kind of... Kind of disappointing, I gotta say. There goes all the blimps. I was kind of hoping they all blow up in one go, but... You know, you, you can't you can't get everything. I don't know, what, what is that pink stuff? Oh, I think I broke my game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I broke my game. Alright, and the final blimp is dead. Well, we just watched 106 blimps explode, and my game is... I don't know what's going on with these pink textures. It's making all the vegetation pink. I, I think I broke my game. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas of how I could possibly make a bigger explosion, let me know. Just keep in mind, the game does freak out if you spawn in. It, it seems like it's about around 120 plus vehicles the game starts to freak out so if you know any way around that let me know down below in the comments otherwise thank you so much for watching go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and i will see you wonderful people in the next episode thank you so much for watching